guys, Rob here at Bob Evans Classics. If you want to see all of our new inventory every week, please hit that subscribe button. We get new cars in daily. Hit the like button. Appreciate you checking us out. Let's go. What is up, guys? Rob here with Bob Evans Classics. I got a Mopar here for you today. 1966 Plymouth Belvedere. We're going to do a full walk around review of this classic car. But before we do, please hit the subscribe button if you want to see our new inventory every single day. Hit the like button if you like it. Hit it right now, guys, for me, please. All right, guys, we're going to go over the good, the bad, and the ugly. There's no ugly on this car. I can tell you that off the get. But I'm going to do a full walk around so you know exactly what you get before you get it. This way, when it shows up at your doorstep, it is what you thought it was. We do have people that come in. If you want to fly in and come see it in person, you can come and fly into Philadelphia International or Trenton Mercer in New Jersey, which is about 20 minutes away. We are in the suburbs of Philadelphia. Let's go ahead and get started, guys. 66 Plymouth Belvedere. It's got a 440. This car has had a ton of work done to it. It was owned by a mechanic, a Mopar guy. It's been garage kept. It's in really, really good condition. There's a few flaws on it. We'll start with this fender. There's no visible flaws on the fender. The paint's in good condition. You can see a pretty decent reflection in it. It's not glass. It would benefit from a nice buff is what I would recommend because it has been sitting in the garage a long time. It's got American racing wheels. Now you are gonna have to replace the tires. The tires got plenty of life. They're like new tires, but because it's been sitting so long in the garage, they developed some dry rot. So I don't, what I would do is if I got this car and drove it, I burn these tires up. I spin the back, enjoy it race with them and then get a new set of tires take a look at the hood now the hood this is not original i believe this this was from the hemi cars this is aftermarket there's no visible flaws on it again a nice polish would do this car justice you take a look at the lights lights are not cracked or anything grill is in good condition it's got the wagner halogen lights Bumper has a little bit of pitting. It, do, it would clean up nicely. This is the way I bought it. The car has not been detailed yet. Go ahead and look at this fender. You got a little scratch here and a little chip right there. Going back to this wheel, tire needs to be replaced. It has Wilwood disc brakes. And we'll go through the mechanics with you. This car has a ton of work. Remember, it was owned by a mechanic. And it's in great shape mechanically. And it, the exterior interior is all there. It's a solid car. A little scratch right here. No rot, no rust there. Back here is nice. I don't see any flaws at all. These wheels, they appear to be newer than the front wheels. He must have changed these at some point from burning rubber because they're brand new. There's no dry rod on the back wheel. Go around the back. Bumper again is not in perfect condition. It needs to be buffed up. Again, I would buff this bumper out, put some chrome restoration on it, and a polish. Got a kill switch over here. Push it in, it ain't started. We'll leave it out. Got a little condensation right here. The car has been garage kept except for the past week and we did get some rain. Unfortunately, it's what I got out here. I don't have a warehouse yet. Coming over to this quarter, quarter's in good shape. No visible flaws. Same thing with the tires. This tire is fine, you don't have to replace it. No damage here, you got a little chip there. But overall, this car is clean. There's This is a little imperfection there. 
other than that guys that's it i mean there's no flaws really on this car it's a solid solid driver solid nice looking car it's not a show car but it's a nice looker vinyl top i don't see any bubbles sometimes they develop bubbles from rust underneath but this has nothing glass is also in good condition we don't have speakers back here but i doubt you're going to be listening to any kind of music when you're driving this you'll be listening to the engine go ahead and take a look at the inside again this is the way we got it i'm going to vacuum it out it will be detailed before it leaves but carpet's in good shape seats in good shape headliners in good shape back seat we do have line lock right here that you can lock the brakes and get on it if you guys remember line lock driving at the strip let me know give me your story leave the comment below i like reading the comments especially from the guys that are from the 80s and 70s and got on these cars when they were newer it's got this beautiful steering wheel it's like a cherry color it's got sparkles in it very nice looking i think it adds a good touch you got your rpms there oil pressure water temperature here also let me show you under the car frames in good shape no rust floorboards are good overall it's in good shape guys look at this clean all this there's no rust it's solid this car was done right now let me go over the engine with you and the kind of work it had done to it the mopar purple shaft cam it's a size below 0 0.509 lift cam holly 850 double pumper carburetor edelbrock performance rpm intake manifold roller rocker arms we have a cone torque converter built for the car's weight gear ratio and cam profile it's got a transmission shift kit line pressure raised deep aluminum pan headers three inch exhaust with pipe and flow masters wheelwood front disc brakes conversion dual circuit master cylinder line lock msd ignition msd pro bullet distributor msd wires and blaster coil msd shift light got a eight and three quarters rear with 3.73 shore grip differential so for all you mechanics out there and mopar guys those are the specs we're up power steering manual brakes The carb was just rebuilt before we picked it up. He did that for us. Let's go ahead and fire it up. All right, guys, so odometer shows 23,570, 23,507 miles. I'm gonna guess it's 125, or I'm sorry, 123, 570 miles. Gas gauge works, alternator gauge looks like it's charging. And we'll see if it gets up to speed on temperature. Temperature's here. That, this gauge does not work up there, but this one works here. We got good fuel pressure. Radio does not work. Heat does work. It's a non-AC car.
Listen to that. Guys, she sounds good. She gets up and boogies. Now, the owner told me this car does right under 12 seconds. It's 11 eighths with the line lock. He said he got banned from the drag strip. He took it one time and they would not let him come back because under 12 seconds, you got to do heavy modifications with a roll cage. The guy was a Mopar guy. He was a mechanic, like a professional mechanic. And this was his baby. He sold it due to age and it's available now for the new owner. It's a very fast car, good looking car. It's not overdone. A lot of these that are built up, they're just radical. This is not radical. It's fast, looks good. It looks mostly stock. The rear tires are a little bit larger in the back. Up for sale now, give us a call or go on our website, bobevansclassics.com. If anybody's interested, give me a call, 215. 801-9493 you'll reach me directly you don't mess with any salespeople. i'm the one that's going to be selling you the car appreciate you guys checking out the page if you liked it please hit the like button we're trying to get more people involved in this classic car thing the newer generation are not into it hopefully we can get them into it because i love classic cars my kids do i appreciate you guys give me a call today god bless the usa let's go guys come on